I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So today we have decided that we are going to go to Wimbledon. Um, so we set our alarms for 4 a.m. this morning and got up and got ready. Um, we left a little later than we wanted to. We left around like 5.30ish. We wanted to leave like at 5. Um, but that's okay. We got off this at Southfield Station and we are currently walking with everyone else to stand in the back of the queue. So wish us luck. We have our tickets. I am number 3,866 inside the queue, and Allison is 3,867. Um, so I don't know if we'll get court tickets at all, but we're just here for the grounds, and if we get tickets to a court, great. <laughs> um, but they're starting to move the queue a little bit to actually form a line. Um, so we'll see how quickly we actually get in. Wish us luck. Wimbledon. Um, we are leaving and it's like 614 right now because we have Wicked tonight at 730 so we got to get on a bus and go on a train. But Wimbledon was so so much fun today. Allison how'd you like oh it? Oh my goodness I loved it. It was my favorite thing we've probably done this whole trip. No like, honestly. The whole time I just felt like I was dreaming just because I wanted to do that ever since oh, I was a little kid. Yeah. So. 
No, it was it was so fun. Like it wasn't just like you buy a ticket and you just go to like a match and you watch it and you're done. Like it was an entire experience. Like we watched two matches. We like ate lunch and dinner there. We hung out on the hill for a little bit and uh, ice um, cream, strawberries and cream. Strawberries and cream. Oh my gosh, it was yes. so much fun. So if you haven't been to Wimbledon, you have to go. Like I know it's all the way over here in Europe, but like it's you worth have it. to go. It's so much <laughs> you have fun. To. So much fun. Even like the queue this morning, we queued for four hours, but it was still so worth it. I think like the queue didn't even seem like four hours. It went no. by so fast and it was just such like an enjoyable experience experience literally all around. So anyway, we're about to hop on our bus. Our bus should get here in like the next five-ish minutes. And we'll get on a train and then we will meet you guys at the Apollo Victoria Theater to go see Wicked. got done with Wicked and it was so good yeah it's my favorite musical and I knew that going in um, so of course I had uh, high expectations but it was still so good the only difference was like since we saw it here in London like everyone spoke with the British accent and that was a little shocking to me at first but I quickly got used to it um, but yeah it was so good like Elphaba was amazing Belinda was so good I wasn't quite as impressed with Fierro, but he still did a good job. Yeah, it was just all really, really awesome. Um, so we're back in our Airbnb. It's not the greatest Airbnb. We don't have like air conditioning, which isn't like that unusual for Europe. We don't have that. We also don't have hot water. That's the biggest issue here. Like we're taking like freezing cold showers. Not really what I wanted, but it's what I'm working with. So. Pray for us, because we, we need a little help. Anyway, um, I'm tired. We've been up for literally like 19, 20 hours at this point. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, tomorrow's our last full day in London. We got a few cool things planned to do, just some stuff we weren't able to see yesterday. So we're gonna do those. Um, and then I'll probably come back here and pack up and get ready to leave Friday to go home kind of ready to go home because I'm tired and need sleep but um, I'm excited for tomorrow too it's been kind of my last full day in Europe so anyway I'm gonna go to bed um, but I will catch y'all tomorrow <laughs> 